good morning. Right, so um, I want us to look at uh, ratio. Just to remind you um, what ratio is. Uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's say that, that twenty five is one part. One part. Yeah, just one part. So twenty five is equal to one part. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the recipe says, I don't know. Um, four part. flour to two part butter what would be the recipe this is this is, this is grams yeah what what would be the recipe in grams 100 grams of flour yeah and 50 grams of butter uh, 50 grams, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you, you, you kind of understand a little bit, yeah? Right? That's a, that is, a, that, that is a, the simplest form of uh, embedding maths into our lesson. And uh, yeah, could I get some blue paper, please? So I can uh, write down the... Um, uh, because when you're, work, when you're working with stock syrup, which is a liquid, and you're working with... Um, Shortbread, which is a solid, you're still working in ratios. Yeah? So, the recipe, supposedly, we're going to go um, 500 milliliters water and approximately 200 milliliters sugar. Half. How many of them have we got? Lemon. Uh, ten? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> so, um, right. I, I want the zest and juice of half a lemon. But we're going to zest it, we're going to zest it and juice it, you zest it first, yeah? And don't, don't cut it in half and then zest it, because it'll be more difficult. Zest it while it's whole, yeah? Work in pairs for the lemon zest, divide the zest, cut the lemon and then you have half a lemon in to squeeze. Make sense? Um, half stick cinnamon. Right, and all this, right, uh, I think it's for maximum of two pairs. Right, um, two pairs, but, yeah, right, so that recipe should cover two pairs. Right, now, so um, when you're poaching, <laughs> there you go. Conversion for you. Right. So, uh, uh, right. So, uh, well spotted. Thank you so much. Right. Um, <clears throat> this, uh, well, well, first of all, make your stock syrup. Right. How do you know when your stock syrup is made? Simply when the sugar melts. Yeah? When the sugar melts, your stock syrup is done. Now, we're going to...
poach the pear. We're not going to boil it. Um, and then we need to come back and make the shortbread. So we're going to start with the poached pears. So, poached pears. First of all, the first thing you're going to need is a bowl of water. A bowl of water. Because, as you know, if you peel apples or pears and the air, get, and the air gets to it, what happens to it? It oxidises. Right, so... The first thing to do is to peel the pear and I'll show you the best way to do it. You can use a speed peeler, but you're definitely going to need one of these or a or, or, um, vegetable knife, a paring knife. I prefer to use a paring knife, but it's up to you guys. Right. So you want to peel the, the pear. And then, what you're going to do, you're going to take out the, the, the bottom, but not too much. This will speed up the cooking process. Now, pear has got an awkward shape because it's small at the top and big at the bottom. But we want it to cook fairly firm without overcooking it. One of the best ways to make sure you get more even cooked pear, just take out the bottom like that. Now I'm using that the uh, peeler. You use the prairie knife if you want. Just take it out like that. Yeah? And that is ready. Yeah? That's the first thing you do. And then once the pear is ready, your stock syrup will be ready. You can have your stock syrup on whilst you're preparing your pear. So at least when the stock syrup is cooked through, you just chuck your pear in then, bring it to the boil, make it simmer. Because <coughs> poaching is cook at about 90 degrees or something like that. So it's very hot, but the water is still. Yeah? Then, while we've got some sugar in there, is once that stock syrup, we finish with the pear, we reduce the, the syrup right the way down till it becomes very sticky like a normal syrup. Yeah? So the more sugar you have in there is the more stickiness and thickness you will get. But uh, 200 grams can, can, can manage that. Yeah? So, when you're grating a lemon, use this side, it, it, it's, it looks like that, but it's smaller. If it hasn't got that, don't use that, uh, a grate with that, that, that type of... Right, and what we're going to do, we're just going to stroke the, the lemon. Not press on it, just stroke it. You want the, the, just the, the yellow, not the white, and the white is a bit very bitter, it's called the pith. Right, so you just want to get the, the skin. I'm going to stroke it nicely and it will come off. And then, once we've done that, get your piece there, or um, this there, it's cut it off. And then you juice that. Yeah? So, that goes into your stock syrup. Bring it to the boil. When the sugar dissolves, it's ready. Then you can put your pear in there. Time it. Yeah? Please do. This is a good example, uh, a good recipe to, to start timing your products. Whilst the pear is poaching, we can start to do the shortbread. What method are we using for the shortbread? Anybody not, not remember? Mm. Rubbing in method. 
Well, right, so bing. Can, yeah. So you've got the rubber in method. From the short bread. Rub it in. Rub in. In. Right. And once again, I'm going to say, uh, okay, it's, um, Hundred grams, hundred and fifty grams flour, butter, and you can see the ratio. If it's if fifty is the ratio, fifty is one part. Your seeds, <coughs> it's four parts flour to three parts butter. I thought it was five Yeah? That's for the. Right, stops. and 100 grams sugar. It, should be, it could be 75, it could be 100. 100 to round it up to 100. Yeah? You know that one? Right? Yeah. With the. With, with, with the. Um, dice the butter. Dice. Butter, right, so it's manageable, and rub all the ingredients together. In all ingredients. And you're going to shape it the way you want to shape it, and we're going to bake it. There's no water or anything added to that, it, take, it doesn't take any time at all. Right? And normally, if, if I'm making a shortbread or a crumble, I use the same method. Alright? So start with stock syrup first, bounce my salt. Half. You didn't tell him when to put it in. It all goes in the same time. All that goes in the same time. <laughs> all that is the stock syrup. It all goes in the sugar, the, the, the lemon, everything. And when the sugar's dissolved, the, the syrup is ready for, to poach. Mm -hmm. See there? Mm. What do you understand? Oh, See there? What do you understand? I'm going to do make it a cartouche. You got it? Like that. Right? Yeah. So make sure that it's got the, it's the width is the right width for the the saucepan so it's not wider than the saucepan. Right? Mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it in half like that. Fold it in half. Fold it in half again, like that. Wait, wait, wait. Not super. Hold on, fold it in half, like this. And yeah. then fold it in half. Uh huh. Yeah. I'll take that one there, because I'm going to make a triangle now. And I'm going to bring it like that. Okay. What's that? Like you got it? It's not. It's just, it's and then I'm going to do this. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so you take that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Emily, you take that and you follow that down. Yeah. Once <laughs> right, so you got that, and I'm going to fold it this way now, like this. Okay. So that the, the fold there is on the outside. Like that. Do you fold it in half? Yeah, so you've got, you've got, you've got that. Got paper, All right. Right. But yeah. I'm looking I'm looking at this part here. Mm. Like this? How much yeah. So okay. this part here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna measure to make sure that that should be about that. <clears throat> yeah? If that's like that, then it's, it's, it's going to come out small. So if, if that is about that, like that, and I can do that, from the centre to the edge of the saucepan, and when I tear it, I'll tear it, like that, it should Oh, oh, oh. no, don't tell me. 
<laughs> well, something's gone wrong. <laughs> let me try. Let, let me see yours. Something's gone wrong. Eh? Give me one. Let's see if not hard to tell. Yeah. Oi, Samuel done it, look at it. Samuel did it a different way. Samuel did it a different way and he stunned it. He is a legend. He is a legend. Samuel. Samuel. Okay, so you've got a packet of butter and it's 250 grams, right? Oh. And you and you need approximately half. So you wouldn't cut it that way. Right? What you do, you cut it from corner to corner. Oh. And if you cut it from corner to corner, approximately you will have 125 grams. And there you go! Alright, little tip for you. Yeah? Right. Goody, good, good. Is it really? Yeah, so there you go. So, I'm recording it. Sorry. Right. Just really quickly. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 Right, get a rolling pin. And then I'm gonna... Really and truly, I should have... Uh, dust it with flour. Put a bit of flour in it for me, please. Just a little bit, not too much. Try to do that. Squeeze together. You can get it. Yeah. Still a bit. Yeah. That might be too much. Right. Um. No. <laughs> right. So quickly roll it together like that, and then I'm gonna press it into the mould. <coughs> you don't want it too thick. I'm going to press it into the mould like that. I made mould. Hopefully, <laughs> it will work. Yeah? Yeah? It's easier. Just take it off. Right, and then I'll stick that part on the and then I'll do something like that. Don't cut it, just mark it. And believe me, I th I do believe that once that's cooked, they'll break in little triangles. All right. Right, so that is what you will do, and you stick it in the other 170, 10, 15 minutes, no colour. Will it cook, but you don't want it to go brown. Right? Okay. Here we go. So the stock syrup. What do you want And I can put my pear in there. Yeah, that looks And the shortbread biscuit in there. I might just do something like that. And that would look nice with a spring of meat, but that will do. Get rid of it. Yeah, that will do. All right. Uh, remember, guys, 
I'm not asking you to repair. I don't think it's going to be accessible, but it's something that you would do next year anyway. So that is what we're looking at, yeah? Cool. Right, if you, if you are... Ooh la la. If you are... Um, <laughs>